Hello everyone, today I'll be reviewing Wait Until Dark. So Wait Until Dark is a thriller, it was directed by Terence Young and came out in 1967 with film stars Audrey Hepburn, Alan Arkin and Richard Krenner. So this was a film that I had never seen before and I didn't know anything about except knowing that it was a thriller with Audrey Hepburn in it and um, it's actually it's on the AFI's list of 100 greatest thrillers of all time so it sounded really good and it was directed by Terence Young as I said and he actually directed some of the earlier James Bond films like Doctor No from Russia with Love and Thunderball and I like the earlier James Bond films a lot so this really sounded like my kind of thing so the film starts off with some heroin which has been smuggled inside this doll and this doll is then passed on to this photographer so the photographer he comes back home and um, his wife is played by Audrey Hepburn. Audrey Hepburn's character is called Susie and she is blind. And um, essentially what happens is that these three con men, they want to find the doll and they want the heroin. Once the photographer husband, he goes out um, for a bit and he leaves the apartment. These three con men that are played by Alan Arkin, Richard Krenner and Jack Weston, they talk to Susie and they managed to convince her that they are um, either a friend of the photographer husband, a police officer, or Alan Arkin's character is actually several different characters. It's a bit confusing, but basically these three men, these three con men, they convince Audrey Hepburn's character that they are other people and that they're actually friendly people and nice people. They convince her that her husband has committed a murder and that they need to find the doll because they want to find the doll and they believe it's somewhere in Susie's apartment. But where is it? Obviously, because Susie is blind, the three con men, they really use this to their advantage and obviously pretending to be other people. What does happen later on, which is a lot more interesting, is that um, Audrey Hepburn's character, Susie, even though she's blind, um, her hearing is very good. So she picks up on sounds of these three men rummaging through the apartment and filling with the blinds and um, with um, squeaky shoes on the stairs and all these different all these different sounds that she picks up and she eventually starts to work out that something is not right and maybe some of these men are not who they say they are and actually very suspicious people. This film had me on the edge of my seat all the way through. It was a really thrilling, very tense movie and there's so many scenes throughout this film when obviously given Audrey Hepburn's character is blind we as the audience we are seeing things that she is not and we almost want to shout out to her to let her know what is going on because these three men are obviously tricking her and you know they're obviously not being truthful they just want to find this doll with the heroin and all this time um you know Audrey Hepburn's character she almost seems quite weak and frail as she has no idea what is going on she's being tricked and it can be quite frustrating at times. One thing I did really like about this film is the music which is um, composed by Henry Mancini and sometimes it just kicks in when you're least expecting it and we do really get a few scary scenes in this film. We do get quite a few jump scares. There's a particular scary scene when Alan Arkin's character he jumps out of the dark and it's really when you're not expecting it at all And, and this was actually put on the 100 scariest movie moments of all time and I can certainly see why. Now, I really like Audrey Hepburn in this film. It's um, It was quite an unusual role for her to be in a thriller like this, and she was actually nominated for the Academy Award for Best Actress. I think it must have been really difficult playing a character like this, especially one that's blind. We as the audience, we are always rooting for her throughout this film. We always, you know, we want her to be safe. We want her to get through this ordeal that she's being put through. This film is mostly set just inside the apartment, apart from the... 20 minute or so opening sequence which sort of explains the backstory a bit of the doll and the heroine we as the audience then locked into this apartment with Audrey Hepburn and as such it it really feels very claustrophobic and very tight every time there's a knock at the door or there's a weird sound outside it's almost like we're in the apartment thinking oh no what's happening here what is going to happen next now it is also worth mentioning we do get this other character called Gloria, who is Susie's stepdaughter, she's actually the daughter of um, Susie's husband, the photographer, and she's a real interesting character because when she's first introduced, she comes across as a bit of a sport brat to be honest. She starts throwing things on the floor, and obviously we then have Audrey Hepburn's character who can't see what's going on, is panicking. But eventually, the two actually, um, the 
two characters, they do manage to come together and they do manage to actually work together to find out who these con men are. So as you can probably tell, this is a film I really appreciated. I think it's an excellent thriller. It's one of the best thrillers I've ever seen, if I'm honest. And I've seen quite a lot of thrilling films. But it is nice when you go into a film and you don't know anything about it. You watch it and you realise, wow, that is actually an excellent film. If I was to say anything bad about it, I do think that the first sort of 10 to 20 minutes of the film... Um, when I was watching it, I was finding it quite difficult to work out what was going on because it was a bit confusing with the motivations with these con men and there's this other woman that's smuggling the heroin inside the doll and then she just walks off with another man and passes the doll onto a photographer. It's a bit confusing what exactly is going on and, and then there was a scene at the start um, when, when the con men are talking but as we progress through the film, we quickly sort of forget about that bit and we just want to focus on what's going on in this apartment so i can actually easily forgive it for that and you know by the end i wasn't um, i wasn't bothered at all by the fact that i didn't really understand the start of the film so overall i'm going to give wait until dark a rating of 10 out of 10 i really do think this is one of the best thrillers that i've ever seen i think it's an excellent movie it's very tense uh, very chilling um very spine tingling to be honest in a few places um, ex excellent use of jump scares excellent use of the location fantastic use of the music it's just a brilliant thriller so if you're somebody who really enjoys thrillers and you know you like films that put you on the edge of your seat then this is a must see so there we go so that is my review of wait until dark so what do you guys think have you seen wait until dark do you like it do you dislike it please let me know what your thoughts are down in the comment section below Anyway, thank you very much for watching. I'll see you all in the next video. Take care.